Okay, so this is gonna be an equipment tour. Probably about half of it, because half and half of our equipment is at two different farms right now with the bins. And part of it is at Grandpa's. So yeah, this is what we got here at the bins. So starting off with the 190. This is an XT Series 3. Alice Chalmers 190. Forget what year it is. Um, I don't know much about this tractor. All I know is that it was a complete beater when we got it. And I was super young. Like I was like, I don't even know if I was born yet. But I, all I know is it was a complete beater. And my grandma wasn't happy about it. My uncle, Jared, he taught grandpa on buying it. At least that's how the story goes, so. Yeah, it's a nice tractor. It's probably one of my favorite old tractors that we don't use on the farm. That, and we got a D17 house trailers. And a 160, but that's probably my favorite out of all of them. And then moving to the next piece of equipment. This is our new Holland 675D backhoe. And it's, it's pretty nice. I like running it in the fall, use, using it for brush and stuff. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good backhoe. It's old, but it's good. Now this is our customly painted Bluebird International School Bus. We put a whole bunch of tools in this thing. This is kind of our shop on wheels. It's pretty nice. It's fully stocked. I don't know if you guys can probably see in here, but we got toolboxes and welders. Well, not, yeah, we got toolboxes, a welder, a table, a vise, an air compressor, a fuel tank. It's, it's decked out. And then, the most recent add-on to the farm, the Volvo. Really don't know much about this truck. No, we bought it early this year, I think February, maybe March. But we bought this, and then... We bought a stoding hen, I think that's how you say it. But we bought that with a trailer. And then it's got um, electric tarps. That's pretty nice. And then this is our one of two of our Clark anhydrous toolbars. Man, it smells like anhydrous back here. But yeah, so that's our, I think our, that's our biggest one. Our biggest toolbar. And um, yeah. This is our 3600 corn planter, box fill, not bulk, wish it was bulk fill, but uh, not much to say about that, it's just a 3600 box fill corn planter. Um, this is our ADCO 9675, now I think the only thing we use this, yeah, the only thing we use this tractor for is planting, and that's why it's still got the Demco tanks on the side, and it's still got the planter hooked up. Now this tractor is my favorite tractor on the farm. This is our 9695 Agco. And we use this thing for disc chiseling. And what else we use it for? Anhydrous. And I think we used to use it on the the wait, we don't use it for we use it for turbo tilling. And I think we used to use it for disc chiseling. But yeah, this is I like this tractor. Oh man. Need a tape measure. But, um, yeah, this tractor is awesome. I love this thing. The power shift transmission, that's got the same thing. It's got an 18-speed power shift, too. But, yeah, this is my favorite tractor. It's so easy and so fun to run. We used to put it on the grain cart. Now we put our DT240 on the grain cart, which is our biggest tractor on the farm. This is our second biggest. But, yeah, sweet. And then this is our Great Plains, um, our Great Plains Turbo Till. We just got under corn stalks with this. And then our Sunflower Disc Chisel. This, never seen in action before. Never done anything with, in it. But, um, I'm excited for this fall, hoping to get some good harvesting videos up and some good up so that is part of the fleet that we got not all of it i think most of it yeah 
Oh crap, I forgot to show you guys a sim. One of them. This is the second semi we got. Um, we just, so like I said, we just got that semi this year. And this semi, we've had, this is a 99, but it's a super tiny semi. We used to have a grain trailer for it, but we sold it. So now the only reason why this thing is still around is for that. So we can haul gravel and stuff with it. But yeah, that's the only reason why this thing's still around. It's an international, got our Crest Farms logo on the side. My um, uncle likes to call it the Intertrational. He hates this thing. I actually kind of like it. Got a couple air horns out there. It's a pretty nice tractor. Tractor, truck. But yeah, I like that. And then way in the distance out there is our Massey Ferguson 205. And that's a little tiny tractor. It's, um, ooh, that wheel doesn't look bad. I forgot to tell you guys this. So I'll walk back over here to this tractor. This, this, this tractor, it broke the, both the front wheels. Here goes your grandpa. But it broke both the front wheels off of it when we were planting. Um, so what happened is we were going around a turn for my uncle. My uncle was. And we were going around a turn. Huh? I did. I put them both in the truck. You said to get one. I got both of them. Out the bed? Yeah. Um, but we were, he was going around turn corner and this snapped and went all the way back under there and then it snapped the other one with it and it was back under there too so we had Saunders pick it up and tow it and we put new wheels on it so that's what happened late planting season this spring And then in here, we got, oh, both the green ones are in here. Um, is there lights in here? I think there might be, there might not be. I'll open this up a crack for some light if I can. Oh. That help. Just leave that like that so we got some light. There, keep that. But, um, so, these are our other two semis. Now, these are not tandem axles. These are single axle trailers and single axle trucks. Um, this right here, oh, man, it's dark back here. Better open up another one. But, um, these are both old, retired ABF trucks. Um, so, yeah, these are both retired ABF trucks. Open sesame seed. There we go. I'm showing them the trucks. Um, so that's this is a single axle too. This is a Tempty Super Hopper trailer. Um, and this right here is our semi. Wow, it's dark. But this is one of our semis. It's a Volvo. I'm sure you guys will see this this fall. Now this was Grandpa's and Uncle Joe's or Jerry's. I think all three of them, maybe. But it had a grain bed on the back of it. It's an old 32 Ford. And um, right here, this is our, this has got a jet trailer on the back of it, on the back of that Volvo. So these are both identical Volvos. The only thing different about them, and when I was younger, I liked this one better. Yeah, this one. I liked this one better because it had a nicer trailer on it. I like the newer trailer. And this one, I like this one because it had steel steps, and that one doesn't right there. So, yeah. 
that's the equipment overview. That's what we got here now. So once I get over to Grandpa's, and next time I have this over at Grandpa's, I'll show you guys the other side of the food. So that's all for today, guys. See you in the next one.